Hi, I'm Ryan Brown, currently teaching in Moscow, Russia, where you can see me working with students and teachers on how to effectively use technology in the classroom. Often I assist students in the classroom, but sometimes in larger assemblies, like sharing Google Keep tools before grade five exhibition. Training teachers and students to use technology correctly within the subject areas can create stronger bonds in the content. Being able to explore, tinker, and think makes students want to know more. Here is a recent Google site I did for a middle school science lesson. In Act 1, students are shown a video that stops before anything truly happens. Act 2, they are able to ask clarifying questions or ask for needed information. It ends in Act 3 with a reveal of the answer, which this three-act results in students asking more questions to why the two colors act differently. Let's look at a couple how-to videos for lower elementary. So you're looking into uploading a photo to Google Drive. You can do that in a couple different ways. I've already gone to a folder that I would like to upload my documents or my images to. By hitting the, plus sign, the blue plus sign in the bottom right-hand corner, you have a couple options. You can go and use your camera and take the photo and have it upload directly to this folder or photos that you have already taken using the camera app, you can use the upload button. So here we want to go to photos and videos and select the photo from the camera roll that you would like to upload. It will give you feedback that once it's done, it says all pending uploads have been completed. So here we're going to figure out how to add other items known as attachments to our Google Classroom. I already have one item there for my home learning. Right below that is a plus sign with that says add attachment. Here you have a few options. You have Drive, which you can go to your Google Drive and upload a document that you have, or in this case an image. Or the other option that you have is you can create a new doc, slide, or sheet. So if my teacher was asking me to add a new doc, I can just click on that. The one nice thing about this, it not only adds my name first, but also the name of the assignment as well. So once I'm done typing here, if I go back to Google Classroom, you can see I have all my attachments there. And when I'm ready to hand it in, it will ask to verify and now the teacher can see that I am finished and he or she can look at all my attachments.